All right. So I would like to start off with a quote from a Dutch doctor who said, why should I worry about palliation when I have euthanasia? And I want that to settle with everyone right now. This was a quote by a Dutch doctor and, and the senior fellow in human rights bioethics from Dr. Wesley J. Smith. In the Netherlands, there are more than 10,000 citizens who carry do not euthanize me cards on their person at all times in case they are in an accident and unconscious or taken to a hospital unexpectedly. How can this possibly be if they have individual choice of their euthanization? I would like to move on. If we are to have government involvement with physician-assisted suicide, primarily because it is a medical practice and we have Obamacare currently in the United States, there's a president as a result of highly publicized deaths of infants with disabilities in the 1980s. The federal government's approach to this was to cut funding to these hospitals. Are we really going to have the federal government be appropriately or unappropriately uh, handling this physician assisted suicide like this? Does anybody see the see the danger in having physician assisted suicide? I would like to go on. There are no safeguards effectively with physician assisted suicide if we are allowed to have the legal case of good faith in medical practices such as physician assisted suicide. And in every case, we have made, the, made it that physician assisted suicide was going to be a passive euthanasia, in which the case is that um, the patient receives um, medical pills in order to uh, uh, completely commit suicide. And this would be administered by a physician who would prescribe them. Um, in an or, in Oregon, um, by a study done by Golden Maryland, a startling 63% of reported cases cited fear of being a burden on family, friends, or caregivers as a result of their suicide. And this was a study done by the United States Conference of Catholics, uh, Catholic Bishops in 2001. 63% out of burden uh, to family members does not sound like pain, uncontrollable pain for that matter. Um, another study by the uh, Health Research Fund shows that no patients who requested physician-assisted suicide had uncontrollable pain. According to the reports, all patients who have requested this procedure instead cited social and psychological concerns. <coughs> Overall, estimates range from 15 to 25 um, percent of, pa of patients who requested physician-assisted suicide who had botched uh, suicides. In this case, they have requested the um, a prescription, have taken the dosage, but ended up vomiting uh, the prescription and end up writhing in more pain and end up um, not uh, fully committing suicide, end up in the hospital in even more severe condition. Uh, the advocates would have um, suggested that we have lethal injections administered by a physician, uh, much like criminals do when they receive the death penalty. <clears throat> I want to end this by saying that there is hope. Um, a study done by Marcelli Joe said that a cheerful never give up attitude can often overcome the longest of odds and the worst of illnesses. And, it, and she also goes on to say that um, if a patient is told that he has, for example, six months to live, to live with a progressively worse pain, he may decide to end things before things start to get worse. And that um, this wipes out valuable time that can be spent with family and friends. It also denies the slim chance of recovery and the possibility of discovering a doctor error, which is common in medical practices. <clears throat>